Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over my collection that I have purchased myself <laughs> from Milk Makeup. And I'm going to do this in order of how I would put these products on and give you my honest opinions because that's what happens here. First, applause, applause. Everybody stand up and give a standing ovation to Milk. They're not the first ones I know to do this, but I really like that they have these small sizes that you can buy. What I don't like about these small sizes is what they cost. My gosh, this little thing, look how much is in here. <laughs> look at this. The amount of product that you get in this one for $14 is a substantially lot less than say a full size, which would be like this. You know, even if you don't look at the, the length of, of this container, look at the diameter. <laughs> Okay, so this is like a standard size for them of a full-size product. And this is one of their minis. Now, what this is really good for is being able to try the product out because you don't know if it's going to work for you or not. And that was fantastic for this. This product is called Cooling Water. It's for under your eyes and it's supposed to be like sleep in a stick. It is nice underneath your eyes. There's caffeine in here and one of the things that they say that this product does is depuff your eyes. I would like you to sound off below if it actually really does because I don't have bags under my eyes but it does do a good job of hydrating underneath my eyes and I really like that so I just keep putting it under my eyes and you know I'm super glad I tried this. I like this. I actually like the small size of this for underneath my eyes. And for $14, I think it probably could last a little while. The next step for me in the morning these days has been with this stick. I like this. You're going to have to pry this one out of my hands. This is the hydrating oil. In the morning when I put on my makeup, I do my skincare routine is pretty simple. Um, I put on my vitamin C after I've washed my face, you know, I'll put on my vitamin C. And then instead of using a moisturizer, I will more often than not, I mean, some days I'll use the Hada Lobo. I like that stuff. But, um, you know, more often than not, what I was doing was using the Mad Hippie uh, facial oil, right? And I'm out of it. So I thought now's a good time to give this a try. So this is the Milk Makeup Hydrating Oil. And I thought, okay, well, let's see. It's in a stick, of course. Almost all their stuff is. This is not messy. You go whoop, whoop, whoop on your face and blend it in and so much hydration. It's wonderful. I love this. I think I'm going to continue to get this, guys. I don't know how long this lasts, but I think it's going to last me a pretty long time because <laughs> look, like that right there, like go like this four times and that's about the am amount that I put on my face. And look how big that stick is. So I'm thinking this is going to last a very long time. It has great ingredients in it. I really like it. The next thing is the Milk Hydro Grip primer and when I first use this you got to try stuff more than once guys <laughs> the first time I used this I did not like it at all <laughs> it comes out in this gel right and here's why I didn't like it you can't treat this like a regular primer like your Becca backlight you know you get it you put that on and then immediately I go in with my foundation nope don't do that. <laughs> the first time I used this stuff, see it's starting to get tacky now. Okay, so the first time I used this, it was under the La Mer foundation. And I put it on my face and then I got the, the La Mer on there and went, what is this voodoo? <laughs> the, it looked like I was in the special effects department <laughs> and they were putting on my makeup and trying to make it look like, you know, she fell in a vat of Retin-A and this is like a week later or something. <laughs> it's like, it was like my skin was coming off and I went, thank you very much milk because I had to wipe it all off. The next time that I tried it, I put it on and then I just let it set. Okay, and I think I went and took care of something in the kitchen and then came back. And so after it had gotten to where it is right now, which it feels dry, but it's still kind of tacky. It's grippy. Okay. Then I went in, same foundation, totally different story. 
This, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, if what you want a primer for is to hold on to your makeup, and that's what most people use primers for, then there's nothing better I've ever found than this. But I took a makeup wipe at the end of the night and wiped off my makeup. Whenever I'm doing these kinds of things, I don't use makeup wipes for any other time than this. When I want to see how much makeup is left on my face, then I will start with a makeup wipe and just go across my face so that I can see and get a feel. And every bit, I swear, every bit of the makeup that I put on my face was still there after an entire day of wearing it. I have never seen, and I do this a lot, I have never seen a makeup primer that holds on to your makeup as well as this does. This stuff is no joke. It's not kidding. It will not let go. It's <laughs> It grips your foundation and it won't let it go. So if that's what you want a primer for, Bing, bang, bada, boom, here it is. Next up is the blur stick. Here's what I gotta say about the blur stick. I don't wear it under makeup. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't do anything horrible, but it doesn't hide your pores under makeup. When you put it on by itself though, totally good. You're good. If you don't wanna wear foundation, if you don't have to wear foundation, let me tell you something. Put this on, okay? You can even put this on if you want. And then put this on and just rub it in and go. You done. Maybe a little concealer to hit some spots. You done. Go. <laughs> now, I've not tried their foundation yet, but I can tell you that I have wore this quite a bit, especially on days. I actually have it on today underneath this foundation. But it's not concealing my pores as well as it did before I put the foundation on top of it. When you just put this on and you don't have like foundation on, you can't see your pores. This is fantastic and it'll stay like that. But like I said, so yeah, I really like it, uh, but not under my makeup to hide my pores, which I think is the whole purpose of this. Somebody recently asked me if I could recommend a cream blush to them and I couldn't because I've only got one and that would be one by Wet n Wild. And I don't know if you can find that one anymore. I think I may have told her about it, but I don't know who I told that to. But if you're still interested, here you go. This doubles as a lip tint as well. But this is beautiful. So you just put on a little bit, okay, and tap it out. And it lasts a good long time, especially over the top of their primer, you know. <laughs> And then you can go on top of it with their highlighter, which you guys know, I, you already know I love this. You guys already know that I love their highlighter, right? This is the holographic one. These two products work together like magic on your face. This blush stick is so fantastic. It makes you look fresh. It looks fresh. It looks youthful on your face, the highlighter stick. I've had this for a few months now. It's not dried out one little bit, so these caps do keep the products moist, and ooh, ooh, I love this. Next would be eyeliner. I have talked about these before in a favorite, but at that time, there was something I didn't realize, so I'm gonna spill the beans on that today. Spill the tea, okay? I'm gonna give you that tea. This is the most beautiful, wonderful, eyeliner in the whole world. I've tried a lot of eyeliners and I've never tried anything that makes me keep reaching for this every day and this is how come I know this. Okay, <laughs> Because once you start using this, you can't put this down. This is beautiful. It's creamy. It goes in like a dream. It doesn't transfer. It stays all day. It's you. What could else could you want? If you're me, you don't use eyeliner on your eyelids. You don't use it underneath your eyes. You use eyeliner pencils almost exclusively in your waterline and your tight line, and you have a problem here and there because it transfers or it leaves. In a couple of hours, it's gone. You gotta reapply it. But no, not with this. I was preparing myself for a lifetime relationship with milk for their eyeliners when it ran out on me in two months. I have eyeliners that I have had for eight years. <laughs> They're the pencil kind by Lancome, but yeah, I still got them because they hang around for a while. These are so creamy and there are so little product in here that you're gonna run out. So here's the dilemma. 
There is 0.01 in here. 0.01. That's all that's in here. And I don't wear makeup every single day. So there were days in the two months that I wasn't even wearing an eyeliner. When I was, oh, I was wearing these. I had it in navy called Biz. Huh, this one here is uh, the brown and this one's the nude. So <laughs> I didn't know that when I purchased these that I was going to be out of the blue. But I twisted it up to use it one day. And, uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, I panicked a little bit. I'm like, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> and then I went and looked at the date that I bought it. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm sure if I had used this every single day, I would have been out of it before the two months was over with. But let's just say I used it for two months. That's $11 a month in eyeliner. So you have to, I mean, me, I'm not made of money. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so torn over these because I really do think they are the best eyeliners on the planet. I don't know if I can buy it again because of how fast you go through it. I've been trying to dupe this one out. I'm telling you, the nude, I can't do it. I've got Rimmel. I've got the Mac. I've got uh, a, a Lancome. Um, I can't do it. I have, there are days I like to wear the nude in the lower. And this one is the only one that's the right color and that hangs around all day long. So <laughs> the last step for me is lipstick almost all the time. So this is one of their lipsticks and I'm sad that I got this shade because it's too light for me. Um, I've been wearing it over the top of Sore Lip Liner, but this is not a good shade for me. It's not dry, but yet it's not all over your face either. You know how you'll get a lipstick that's so hydrating it won't stay on your mouth? That's not this one. This is a beautiful formula. I love the simplicity. It's got a magnetic cap. Um, it's raised here that says milk. Like, for the most part, I love milk makeup. Now, I want to steer clear of products that have the cannabis in it. All right, like this right here has the cannabis in it. Uh, a lot of their products don't. And even though I have tried their mascara in the past, the reason that I didn't buy it again or like it was because I'm scared of the kush. Okay, I don't want to use products that have that in it because, and hear me out, I even wrote Milk about this. I know this is probably going to generate a whole bunch of people in the comments telling me I don't have to worry about this, but I'm going to worry about it until I don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm under a pain contract and my pain doctor told me, because I went to him and I said, hey, can I use some CBD products? And he said, only if you want to you lose your contract. It says everywhere that you look, it says that there's not enough in it to throw a false positive on a drug test, right? Well, apparently people at my doctor's office are throwing false positives and losing their pain contract. So he told me, if you want to use products that have CBD or cannabis or hemp oil or whatever in it, do so at your own risks. I'm warning you because that field is unregulated. So it's kind of like vitamins, right? Um, it's an unregulated field. So if you get too much, you can throw a false positive and lose your pain contract. I'm not into the thought of living in bed. So <laughs> I'm not willing to put that out there. Now this here has it in it. And I wrote milk and I said, hey, is there any reason why this, the mascara or the select products that they have that actually have cannabis hemp oil in it? Is there any way? that this could cause you to throw a false positive. And they said no. And that's probably true. <laughs> but it's why I won't buy this, even though it, it's pretty dang good. I know you're gonna say I'm crazy. I'm not willing to risk it. Okay, so that's why I don't use the mascara, even though it's a good mascara. I don't use the mascara for that reason. I'm very selective. I make sure I look at the products and see which ones do and don't have the hemp oil in them. This one does. I think it's the only one of the ones I've shown you today that do. The mascara does. If you're like me and you're just really paranoid and want to make sure you don't trip anything, I would really like to try some more of Milk, their masks and stuff. I would, I'd like to venture into that. But this is all I have for now. Tell me below, do you use Milk makeup products? Which ones are your favorite and why? 
Okay. And would you be willing to try any of this line? I think it's a good line. I really like it. I hope you guys know that you are the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not, you can make my day by hitting the subscription button. If you guys aren't having a blessed day, please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you. See ya. Bye. And I'm out. Do you got milk? Hey, got milk? <laughs> milk, get it? <laughs> all right, I'm sure they've never heard that before. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> it's better than yours. It's better than yours. <laughs> milk is gonna be like, take that girl and never let her on the PR list. <laughs> this little doodad, this little doodad here that looks like something that'd be fun to eat, doesn't it? I mean, we're just like, oh, uh. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. We could do that together. Let's try and see what it tastes like. No, it's got caffeine in it. Maybe it's like coffee. It doesn't taste bad. <laughs> In fact, I think they say that on their website. Hang on. Does it say that? If not, I'll sell them to them. No, darn, they already said it. I stole it from them. Sleep in a stick. I guess I'm not going to sell them that slogan. On one end is a sharpener and a little smudger. If you were so inclined to not use it in your waterline, uh, I tend to... What the heck? Where does this go? I don't know where this goes. Guys. Oh, it's on this one. <laughs> I'm the happiest girl in the whole USA. <laughs> Who's that? Donna Fargo? That's reaching back into my childhood, like old time country. <laughs> Not the boot scootin' boogie kind of country. <laughs> Let's hear it from my old time country people. Hey, remember Conway Twitty, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson. Why are you doing this? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Dang right, it's better than yours. Dang right, it's better than yours. <laughs> Get it out of your head already. Poor milk makeup. They don't deserve this.